I'm starting the project data as usual, cutting and milling the stock roughly to size. I'm ripping down the dividers that will separate the panels. I cut them about a quarter inch wider than what's needed. This is just in case there's some tension in the wood that releases and pulls it out of square. This way I have room to rejoint the edge, square it and flatten it, and rip them to the final size. Here I'm cutting a dado in the face frame that will accept the panel dividers. I run them through, flip them around, and then run them through again to be sure the dado will be centered on the face frame. I'm using a little tight bond wood glue in the dados, then I gang them together and the clamps to dry. Once the glue is dry on the panel dividers, I square them off with the table saw and cut them to length. I needed to cut a notch in the top and bottom of the panel dividers so I could join them to the top and bottom rails of the headboard. This was a two-step process here at the table saw. I cut the notch to length, then cut it to the right depth. I use the domino as my main joinery method. My clamps weren't long enough to reach all the way across the panel divider, so I hooked several together to give me the length I needed for the glue up. Once I had the panel dividers figured out, I moved on to building the legs. To get the thickness I wanted, I laminated two pieces of 8 quarter lumber together. My design incorporates a compound angle at the top of each leg. Due to the thickness of the material and the length of the compound angle, my saw bottomed out before cutting all the way through the leg. So I came back with a hand saw and finished the cut. To lay out the curve, I first found the center of the leg and then plotted out the apex of the curve. I drove a nail in on my center plot point and used a thin scrap of wood to bend around the nail to create the curve. Once I was happy with the shape, I marked it out with a pencil and headed over to the bandsaw. It is times like this when I wish I had had someone to help me out. Cutting the curve on that long piece of wood was a bit awkward. Once I got done at the band saw there were some saw marks left, so I used the belt sander to smooth them out and refine the curve. I test fitted it before taking it to the client's house. Because I have to fit it up a flight of stairs, I am not gluing the legs on. They are being screwed on instead. The dominoes are just there for alignment purposes. The art panels are then dropped in place and secured with strips of wood screwed to the dividers. This way the panels are free to float in the frame. 
The strips of wood I used to hold the art panels in place were cut at a two degree angle on the outside edge. When attached to the frame, the drill would be angled away from the art while driving the screws and not scratch the panels. When I pre-drilled the screw holes, I used a custom jig that had a matching two degree angle in the dado to hold the strips parallel to the drill press table. This ensured that all the holes were centered and at the proper angle to protect the art from being scratched during installation.